你好 ，Welcome to Learn Chinese with David. I'm David. Today we continue the Chinese radicals, the long, long. Looks an oracle style, and then came up with this dragon from Mulan cartoon, and this from three thousand or four thousand years ago. Do you find any similarities? Long dragon. This one is tradition simplified one. Then this one is traditional one. Dragon. Long itself can use as characters. Long. In Chinese legend, long is a kind of animal can fly. In Chinese, the rain and the water. Long. Long use a radical. Normally give the sound. Here I call it radical, but in the dictionary this part is called radical. This one maybe just a, a component, but I prefer call it radical because it gives the sound. Okay, long. Here use a sound phonetic part. The top is bamboo, and bottom read as. Long, so give the whole character read as a long cage, or cook made from the bamboo. Also means basket or the steamer. Long, bamboo. Top like the kiki called bamboo. Long and this one long give the phonetic part. It's a phonetic part give the sound. And the bottom means er er means ear. So long, read as long means deaf, hard of hearing. Long long zi. The radical is er er. And this radical is hard. Phonetic part is long. Read together is long. Means use a hand to put things together. The radical is shou. This long, the radical is to means soil. So this long read as long risk the risk pass between the field normally for working. Long to is soil, ti to pang land or soil. Normally this one read this one flat. Here is kick up a little bit. Use as radical. Long this. Something like the shelter have something so huge, so huge. This one the pang. This something like a shelter, like this ship shelter. Wang. Chong. This top is roof. Bottom is long, but the Phonetic sound is not so clear already. So this together with the chong, but bottom with the long chong and the long, because after three thousand years evolution, the phonetic part many are lose the trace already. Because now the what we call Chinese we call the standing the Mandarin, it was just three or four hundred years ago. Before that, I think Chinese people speak the most spoken language is. Cantonese or Hokkien, but definitely is not Mandarin. Chong, spoil. You keep a dragon at home and next like pets. You spoil it, so spoil or or pets. Chong. This is roof. Radical is roof. Long itself also means it's a single characters. You see here, go few words are very similar. Long dragon. This plus bamboo read as long cage. This long 
at bottom the radicals ear depth is hand put together is hand long and this one long and this is this long Chinese radical norm give you the meaning of some use a phonetic part give you the pronunciation give a hint of the pronunciation not always like this is three long 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 but this one is uh or this four all long but the chong is not long hsk5 is for intermediate le learner or advanced learner already is quite high level this course is suitable for sk4 5 and 6 and also for gcse igcse advanced learner or ib or standard level and sat chinese because the hsk is classified by the the numbers of vocabulary from level 4 1200 to level 5 the vocabulary is almost double is more than double so the big gap between 4 and 5 so it's very challenging the requirement for this level is able to pass this one and read newspaper and magazine enjoy means fully understand Chinese film and movies and dramas please and give the full length speech in Chinese maybe five minutes like the AS or A level sub subsidiary Chinese speaking for five minutes is very challenging job Here's a comparison between the HSK5 with the similar international examination for A1, IB stand level, IB H level, SAT, and AP. If you need the classified vocabulary, you can download from here. And the total, the old, HSK syllabus, the 8000 vocabulary is here. The HSK stands for the Han Yu H, Shui Ping S, Kao Shi K, Chinese Proficiency Test. HK6 is the highest level of the HSK examinations. The total six levels. HSK is the international exam conducted by Chinese government for foreigner. It's Chinese TOEFL exam. The level classification is according to the vocabularies. From level 1 to level 6, the vocabulary is almost doubled. But there's a big gap from level 5 to level 6. You are required to must extra 2,500 new phrase but total only 5,000 vocabularies compared with 1 million vocabularies in English dictionary so the requirement is just minimum it's very low so the requirement for HSK6 is quite high can write and speak in many areas actually they require you to to sit the Chinese uni to attend Chinese uni course in Chinese is quite challenging so can you write down the sentence fluently by listening to Chinese teacher in the uni lecture very hard but try your best that's why I give you some writing practice to train you to write out quickly without thinking from my 20 years the 
foreign language teaching as a Chinese as second language for the different exam. Here is a comparison between the SK classification with other international Chinese exams like the GCSE, IGCSE, GCSE or A1, A2 or A level, AS in UK and IB standard level and high level for international standard and SAT and AP for American exam. Here is a comparison. If you want to know the 8,000 HK vocabularies before 2000 the old standard, you can go to my slide share. Here is a 30 percent of coupon. You can apply this coupon code in edu.biz slash shop. Even the cost is under promotion, you will get 30 percent off extra. Take it. If you need the one-to-one -one skip lesson, our teachers are waiting for you. All course design are using the same method you are looking now. Use a PowerPoint to design in very detail, give the best English translation possible. And all course cover from very beginning to very high end. Our course design is FY1 to FY6. FY1, FY6 stand for the foreigner year one. It's a course for foreigners to learn Chinese. And K1 to K3, kindergarten, year one to year three for the children from three years old to six years old. And our course also designed for the examinations for the foreigner, like the HSK, from level one to level six. HSK stands for Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi, means Chinese proficiency test. It's a test done by Chinese government, especially for the foreigner to sit for Chinese exam, to test your level of Chinese. And we also have many course for the GCSE, IGCSE, AS, O level, A level, now they call A1 or A2, the British exam and also international Chinese exam like IB, IB stand level, SL and IB HL, the high level and also the American course, SAT and AP Chinese. See you.